Okay, so a while back I promised you guys that I was going to explain what I'm doing with this whole last airbender thing, why I'm doing it, and um, whatnot. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if this is going to make it to the protest channel or not, because like I said, my camera's gone. So, <laughs> all I got is recording. Yeah, audio. Woohoo. Anyways, um, okay, so here's the basic reason I did it, and one of the reasons that the protest channel agreed to do the same thing. And it's because of this. This whole race pending thing did two things that we frankly didn't agree with. Number one was that they were b making some frankly baseless ac accusations of racism. And number two, they had said that they were basically in good with us and we were their allies and whatnot and we were helping them even though we weren't. Nobody knew about it when they were making this claim. Nobody had anything to do with it. There were some members, subscribers, who were members of this as well. But, um, you know, they, uh, weren't, we weren't working with these people. And when we asked them about this and kind of confronted them a little bit, we were then insulted and to the max. Uh, now, that is one reason that we got involved with them in the first place. One reason we, um, even got into any kind of dialogue with them. The other, though, another one is that, Whereas we all wanted to protest Dragon Ball Evolution because it was a very bad adaptation. It completely deviated from what made the characters the characters, what made the story so good. Is that this one, from the best indications, I think is going to be good or at least decent. And when it comes to an adaptation that has the potential to turn out good, we want to support it. Now, I'm not going to say that the protest channel is supporting this, because the channel itself isn't. I am. But they're also saying that we shouldn't be bashing on it when this does have the potential to turn out good. In other words, this is a movie that we should be giving a shot. We should not be going ahead and turning our backs on it and thinking that it's going to be absolute crap, because this actually looks like they're working on They're putting effort into it. And this is what we're after. Now, if this turns out to be decent, at, the, at least decent, preferably good, but this turns out to be even decent, this means that we have done our, this means that we're, we've done the one thing that we set out to do and show people that we want good adaptations. And this actually could get us one step closer to getting a good Dragon Ball film. Now, um, one other thing that I would also like to point out. One thing that I would really like to uh, point out, and I know it bothers a lot of people, is that they is that another reason that we had issues with race spending was at one point they actually openly said that the only reason half the people who protested this movie protested it at all was because of a white person playing Goku. They literally said that over half of us were only doing this because it was a white person playing Goku, and thus, for some weird and crooked logical reason, this makes no sense, but they said everything else about the film was symptomatic of a white guy playing Goku. Apparently, the bad acting, the bad writing, the plot holes, all this is because a white guy played Goku. I am not kidding you. They actually said this to me. I'm not making this up. They actually said, quite literally, that if an Asian man had given Justin Chatwin's performance, the exact same performance of Justin Chatwin, the exact same line delivery, played the exact same kind of character, I asked them, if that had happened, would do you honestly think that that would have made the movie any better? And they replied with an instant and emphatic yes. So, as you can see, we've got some deeper issues with these guys than just a movie. Alright, there's, there's something really wrong here. And they were trying to tack our name onto them, which we did not want. So, they, they basically the reason we're doing this is because this movie could turn out to be really good, or at the very least a decent adaptation of a series, and it's going to get us one step closer to our goal if it does good. I'm not seeing any sort of reason to be protesting this film. And frankly, the protest isn't seeing a reason to protest or support it since it's not really our job to support something per se. 
<sighs> that being said, they did want to get involved with, and I got involved with this, because of the fact that they were trying to attach our name to them when they have some rather offensive and shaky stuff themselves. Going around calling people racist while holding on to some, frankly, racial ideas in and of themselves. <clears throat> and before anyone tries to say that that's not racism, guys, racism is, by definition, judging someone by their skin color rather than the content of their character. So when they make... So, yes, it is actually true. When people make cracks about white people just because they're white people... That is, frankly, racist. Now, I'm not going to say that we need to go around whining, boo-hoo, sob over stereotypes. I've never been one to be politically correct. But when they actually say that this is instantly going to suck, or that this person will instantly suck at this just because they're a white guy, that is, frankly, racist. It's not in a joking manner, either. They're dead serious about it. And they were trying to attach the Dragon Ball Protest channel's name to this. Which is why we decided to do what we did. Um, hope that clears that up. Um, hopefully now you guys will understand a little bit better why we did what we did. And, um, you know, like I said, the channel's pretty much done with it. I'm still going to be covering it. Um, anyone wants any more information about it, I guess I'll dig it up. But, uh, for the meantime, now you know. Consider yourselves informed. See ya.